Grove Street. Home. At least it was before I fucked everything up. Or, wait a minute, this isn't the right game. This is The Simpsons Hit and Run. But wait a minute. It's also San Andreas. Or at least a very, very bare bones version of San Andreas. This is a little something I've been working on for the last couple months. What you're looking at is a, a very, very early version of my take on Los Santos from Grand Theft Auto San Andreas in The Simpsons Hit and Run. So yeah, over the last couple months I've been learning how to use Blender and with the the awesome awesome help from the uh, the Donut Team Discord, I have figured out a lot of the uh, things that one needs to know to make custom maps for Char. So of course I thought instead of making some small little map, a little mod just to sort of get my feet wet and everything, I would just go full out and make one of the most iconic maps of all time. <laughs> so, welcome to Los Santos in The Simpsons Hit and Run. Um, just gonna have a little drive around here and talk about this project. Um, it, it literally started, right, with me, like I said, picking up Blender, trying to figure out how to make a custom char map, and the map that I made just as like a little test was Grove Street from what the San Andreas and once I got that working I just thought why not keep going and now um, I've actually laid out all of the map uh, all of the roads for Los Santos and I can now drive around on it there's been a lot of challenges uh, a lot of weird hacks that I've had to do to actually get this all to work. Um, I'm going to talk about probably the biggest one, which is The Simpsons Hit and Run does not like it when you have, say, a road like this that goes underneath another road like the one above. So if you were to have collision meshes set up in your file and you had one road going over another one, what you would see is I would drive here like this and then usually I would pop up onto the road above me. I would just phase upwards. But um, I figured out a little hack um, that allows me to actually load in collision meshes and unload collision meshes when you drive through certain triggers. And so this map has about 97 of those <laughs> to allow you to be able to drive on roads that have other roads going above or below them. Um, I've taken this to the absolute extreme and I have got the the intersections on the freeway all completely working, which I'll be able to show you once I get over there in this incredibly slow but very funny pink car. Um, but yeah, the plan is I'm going to keep making this map, there's going to be buildings, there's going to be traffic, there's going to be pedestrians, there's going to be custom missions. And I am, of course, going to make the rest of the map. Probably not in the same level. Um, I'm going to split it up into different levels. So Los Santos will be level one. Uh, I'll have like the countryside, like Red County be level two, San Fierro level three, and so on and so forth. But yeah, um, this is pending some buildings <laughs> and more textures and shit. This is Los Santos in The Simpsons Hit and Run.
with a bit of a Simpsons twist as well. I turned the Vinewood sign into the Krusty Wood sign. Because I want it to still be, like, you know, Simpsons universe. But the map is Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Um, now, before Rockstar or Take Two try to sue me, I would just like to put it out there that I have built this completely from scratch. Like, obviously I've had like a map of San Andreas open on my other monitor and I've loaded up San Andreas to go to areas to sort of see how big things are and whatnot to get the scale of everything right. But the actual modelling, I've done it completely from scratch. This is all completely original. Um, well, obviously it's not completely original because it's based on San Andreas, but you get what I'm trying to say. And this, this is what I've been working on, and this is what I'm going to still be working on many, many months from now, because this is a fucking enormous project. But I just wanted to put a video out there showing you this, because I've reached a pretty big milestone with having all of the roads all laid out, and all the collision for all the different roads that kind of cross over each other um, working without any major glitches or anything. Um, obviously there's still a ton of work to do, but um, I'm thinking it's going to be worth it in the end. So yeah, um, that's what I've been doing. Let me know what you think and I will have more updates for you when when I hit more milestones and I make more progress. So yeah, Simpsons Hit and Run San Andreas is happening. I'm making it and nobody can stop me. That's all for now. Bye bye.